Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, on today's video we're going to be looking at um, or how to remove the uh, steering lock on the Honda GL1000 um, that I'm restoring. Um, this bike came without um, a key uh, for this um, lock so uh, what I need to do is to get this out and obviously bear in mind it's a steering lock they're designed not to be taken out. Um, so I've done a bit of research. There are several ways it seems to me I can tackle this. Um, I can um, drill it out from here, but I still actually won't be able to pull it out necessarily because um, there's a pin inside here somewhere that holds it in. Um, I've seen other people have um, taken both sides off this rivet um, and made it into what effectively is a, a flat um, surface so you can get some mole grips on it and pull it out. Somebody else has suggested trying to um, use a um, a chisel, small chisel, in between this and this to lever it out, and then you knock this into um, uh, into here, uh, and then pull it out once you've broken the pin. So um, I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to try using a chisel for a start. Um, if that doesn't work, we'll try drilling this out. But I don't really want to do. Um, obviously any damage to the actual um, frame itself so uh, we'll try a chisel for a start to get this out and then we'll try this method of trying to knock this in to break the pin and then pull it out this way okay this is the smallest chisel i've got so let's give this a go That does actually seem to be working. Well, getting that rivet out was easier than I thought it was going to be, but actually all I've really done is just taken the cover um, off this. The, all of this surround part here, and um, that hole is all part of the frame itself. Um, what I need to get out is the, the lock itself in there. So um, I, what I think people do now is they either try and drill a hole where they, they know the pin is to drill through the pin. I don't know where the pin is on this. And um, somebody on one of the other forums suggested the way they used to do it was to get a punch and um, punch this through the, into that way to break the pin and um, then screw a self tapper into the drill holder, self tapper into this, and then pull it out this way. So we'll have a go at that and um, see how we get on. Okay, let's give this a go. That whole assembly, including that square bit at the top, is moving in now. So I'll try and stop the frame from moving as well if I can. Let's try it there, see what that does. Okay, definitely moved in. What I've managed to do there is get it stuck in further now. Uh, okay, let's keep going. further so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to drill a, a hole um, into the brass lock itself where the key would go Tight. Okay, 
I found a socket which will now fit over that. <coughs> and I'm hoping I can use this to leave this, leave the whole thing out. Okay, that's back to everywhere, that's flush. What I don't know is well I've broken that pin inside. Ah, yeah, that's definitely coming out. That's good. A bit more. I'm going to snap my easy off. Easy out in there. That's the only thing. See if we can't. There we go. That's got it. So that's the whole assembly out. And if we get to focus, that just there is the pin that we've managed to break off by pushing the whole thing into the hole. It snapped that off, um, which then allowed me to pull the whole of this assembly out. So um, this assembly is available from eBay, um, or I think you can still have to get an original Honda one as well. Um, they're not very expensive, but it's all part of the restoration. Um, and it'll be nice to have um, you know, a working steering lock as well. Um, not going to stop anyone steering the bike if they want to, but you know, this is deterrent. Okay, so that's it for this video. Just a nice quick how to video on how to get one of these out uh, in case you ever need to. Um, so if uh, that's been useful to you and you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video.